in hey guys, what's up? It's Frigid, and uh, I believe so. I haven't uploaded a commentary in a long, long time. At least a month, maybe even more, like a month and a half. I really don't remember, but I know it's been a long time. And uh, the reason for that is uh, there, a couple of things happened. Uh, first off, we had the finals in school before Christmas break. And then, uh, actually, and right before that, my TV broke, my HD TV. So that meant that I couldn't record. Um, you know, you can't record with a PVR without a HD TV. I mean, you can, but the quality like comes out even worse than the dazzle. So I was like, just forget it. I'll just wait. Um, and yeah, here I am. I got this video not too long ago, and uh, so I decided to put a commentary over it. Like I said, here I am, and let's get started. Uh, so basically, first of all, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Um, today is the 25th, and I will be uploading this video the 25th. Uh, probably late, though, so I don't know. Well, anyways, uh, I don't know if it's still Christmas because us, Latinos, or Mexicans, whatever you want to call us, I know there's some people that, like, they look at us the same. It doesn't matter if you're Colombian, Cuban. They just call everybody who speaks Spanish a Mexican. Like I said, uh, we, we celebrate that thing at 12. We open up the presents at 12. We have the party at 12. We don't wait till the morning. And so, like I said, I don't know if it's still Christmas. Um, but if it is, for you guys, a Merry Christmas. I hope you, if you did it last night at 12, you know, I hope you had a great time. If you didn't, then I hope you're having a great time. So, yeah, and, uh, also, uh, Happy New Year's, because I won't be uploading a, a video in New Year's, or after New Year's, well, I don't know. And then, and since I'm not going to upload it in New Year's, I'm going to say I haven't uploaded a video in a year. Yeah, that's the usual New Year's jokes, but anyways, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, this happened a couple of years ago, I can't remember how, how long ago, but yeah, so it was me and my cousin, we, and my whole family, we were at a Christmas party, uh, and, uh, or Christmas gathering, whatever the hell you want to call it, and, uh, yeah, so there was two family members that we didn't know were going to come, so, uh, you know, we had to get presents for them so they could open them at night. And of course, you know, they brought their own presents for them and, you know, but still, we had to get them presents. And uh, so me and my cousin decided to go to the store and get some presents. And, uh, yeah, so we were at the store and, you know, looking at clothes, doing the normal thing that you do at stores. And we picked up uh, some clothes, like I said, and we went to go pay for them. And he asked me, hey, the, you, you like that, those, which of those two shirts on the wall do you like best? And the, you know how in the stores they have like the shirts hung up and stuff. Oh, I, and I said, well, I like this one. I would never pick the other one. It's 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 a really ugly shirt. You know, I would never wear such a thing. And I said all that, but in Spanish, you know. And uh, so we went back to the house, um, you know, eating. And then it was 12 o'clock, time to open the presents. And no, this wasn't this year. Like I said, it was like two years or three years ago. And yeah, so we opened up the presents. And uh, come to find out that that shirt that I said was really ugly, it, you know, I would never wear it. He, he, uh, he, he gave it to me, um, but he had gotten it before I even, you know, before he even got my opinion. And I just felt like such an asshole. I mean, that for me was a horrible moment, you know, and uh, ever since then, um, I've, I, I think differently. You know, I actually think before I act. You know, if, now that I think about it, if I could go back in time, and if he asked me that question, I would say, you know, I like both of them. You know, they're both pretty sweet. That's what I would say, but, you know, I can't really go back in time. Wish I had a time machine. But it's over, you know, you know. <laughs> things like that, you just gotta get over them, you know. It, things happen for a reason, and that's just the way it is. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys my setup. Um... It's the L96A1 with, uh, I believe, Lightweight, we'll see here when I spawn, Lightweight, Slide of Hand, and Ninja Pro, they're all pro, oh, except for Ninja, and, uh, so yeah, this is after the patch also, so it was, it was pretty easy to quick scope, um, uh, you gotta give Black Ops, I mean, Black Ops, I mean, Triarch credit, cause they are listening to the community, um, there was this one glitch on combat training, 
I posted up a video a while ago, and as soon as I posted up that video, like an hour later, literally, an hour later, they patched that glitch. And I'm not saying I had anything to do with it, but you know, uh, th that glitch had been out for a couple of days only. And that's how you know Treyarch is staying right on top of things. They, uh, you know, um, this game is, is beast. That's all I'm just going to say. It is better than Modern Warfare 2. It is harder to quickscope, but that's okay. We can take the challenge from, you know. And yeah, also, like, like optic, uh, like optic, if you look at their KDs, they're, they're negative. I don't know, I don't know why. I, doesn't that tell you something about, uh, sniping? It's, it's a lot harder, I guess. Um, and, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, I'm full of stories. That's all I can tell you right now, I guess. So I guess uh, my tips for sniping, I guess I'm gonna tell you, uh, would be to you know, just stay back and and let them come for you because if you and I know some of you are gonna call this camping, but it's the truth, man. If you know if you if you like if you go out there rushing them, they're just gonna kill you. I mean, although it takes like 30 shots to kill a person, you know, and you have a sniper, you're just useless. You know, if you miss that first shot, you're you're basically not gonna get them. But if you sit back and, and wait for them to come for you, then uh, you know you, know, you get them Pretty not even paying attention, and that's that's how you get the kills. And that's basically what I do here. You know, I guess you can say I'm camping, um, but I'm just waiting for them to come for me. And th this is how I think I go. Yeah, I was gonna say I think I go positive, but I would never post a game where I go negative. So of course I went positive. Um, so yeah, see, I got this Claymore right here, calling my UAV, well, they're counting UAV as well, I'm so smart, and this guy doesn't even see me, and this guy doesn't either, so I, uh, only use my blade his ass, and th there was, that was a nice, uh, three-piece, I guess you can call it, and now uh, the game's about to wrap up, I'm glad because I ran out of things to talk about, and I hope you enjoyed it, if you didn't, um, my bad, I'll try the next, I try to make the next commentary uh more entertaining for you guys. So uh here you can watch the last kill right here and peace. Oh, ready for deployment. Mission accomplished. Good work.